Now, one of the most difficult things to do when first starting out publishing low and no content books on Amazon KDP is where to begin. When it comes to creating your first book, it can seem daunting and scary to take that first step into the world of publishing. But don't worry because today I'm going to show you how to make your very first book complete with all the necessary information you need to be able to hit that publish button. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple book review logbook, as well as provide you keywords and the interiors so that you can go ahead and create your own book review logbook to sell on Amazon KDP. And in order to start that, the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and click right here, create a design. Now the book size that we want is going to be a six by nine inch book. So we simply just put that in here, six by nine. Now that we have it all set up, the first page that we want is going to be a title page. We're going to want to have a title as well as a section for who the book belongs to. So if we go ahead on the left side and click on text, we can add a heading here and we can say book review. And then I just want to simply duplicate this. And then on the bottom, I'm going to put logbook. I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit to make it look nicer. And then we're going to try to find a font that would go well with this book. Make this a little bit bigger here. And then to center it, we can simply click on the box here and click position. And then we can find the center here. And then now we need a section for who the book belongs to. So we'll go put another body of text here. And it's going to say this book review logbook belongs to. And then I'm just going to resize that. And then I'm going to want to put some kind of box here for a place to write your name. So I'm just going to color it a very light gray, maybe even lighter than that. And then just resize it. And then I'm just going to move this down a little bit right there. And so this is our title page. We can go ahead and add a new page. What we want for this book review logbook is basically a table of contents. And the table of contents is going to include a book list. So maybe up to 100 books. And in order to do that, we're going to want to put another box right here. And uh, we'll just make it a little bit smaller here. Now, before we even do that, we want to put our template so that we know where our margins are. So if we go ahead and put this here, so we know, and I'm going to position it to the back. And so now we can see where we have to stay in the boundary. So if I just leave it right there and I just want to make it a little bit smaller right there. And then I want to add a text that probably says something like book list. So book list. So let's go ahead and put that up here and then change the color to white. And then let's resize it. And then just make this smaller. So now we have the title book list here. And then now we want lines. We want lines because it's going to be a list. So in order to make lines, you go ahead and find an element. You find this line right here. And then we're going to just use the line style and put the weight all the way down. We're going to line it up, extend it as far as we can. So if we zoom in and go a little bit farther, then I'm just going to copy and paste it. I'm just going to keep copying it until we have as many lines as we need. Okay, now that we have our lines, the easiest way to do this is basically take your top line and you want to put this in the position that you want, the final position that you want. And then you can take your bottom, most bottom line and put this in the position that you want as well. 
And then once you have that, you can go ahead and select all these lines. And then you can click position. And then you can click right here on tidy up. It'll tidy it up. But you can go ahead and drag that back into the middle here. And then now what we're going to want to do is maybe get some text. And we want to focus on the title of the books. We need a title right here. And we're going to make this smaller. And then we need more text right somewhere here maybe that says maybe when you finished the book. So date finished. One more text that has your review of the book. So my rating. And then what we need are number boxes here for our list. So we're going to go ahead and start creating that. Okay, so now once it's all numbered, probably put something right here so that it's easy to rate. So maybe if we go to elements and we search for stars, maybe grab this one right here. Let's go ahead and change the color, resize it. Okay, then we want to go ahead and make sure these are tidied up there and then just kind of center it right here. And once you're happy with that, then we can go ahead and just duplicate this on every line. This page is actually done. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create the next page because we're going to create a list of 100. And as you can see, this is only 20. So the next page is going to be, if you duplicate it, is just to renumber these 21 all the way to 40 and then duplicate the pages until we get to 100. Okay, now that this page has been numbered, we can go ahead and delete this template. And look what it looks like. So as you can see, we have our title page, we have our first page book list, second page book list, and then we're going to just repeat this until we have a total of 100 titles. After that, we're going to want to create a section where it coincides with these books. So one page for book number one, one page for book number two. So as you can see, we're going to create a hundred pages. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and add a page, get a text box, and maybe we'll write in book reviews here and then look for a good font, maybe something like this. And then just center that and then I'm feeling like putting a box and then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab these lines that we made here and then I just want to put them in the back here just kind of center it and then position it in the back and then I want to color it a lighter color so it has something in the back there. So it looks kind of like that. Now, once this is done, we have to go ahead and start creating our pages for the actual individual book reviews. So in order to do that, we go ahead and add a page. And now we're going to start to think about what, how do we want to structure this book review page? So what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and grab this part right here and use this as a starting point. And at any time, it's always a good idea to use your template here. And then let's go ahead and put this here. Instead of book list, this should be saying book review. We want to put a text box because this is number one on the list. So we want to do that and like that and then put it up here. So this is number one. And then now we need our lines. So instead of making brand new lines, I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of these, put it here, color it black. And then I'm going to just want to maybe just put it right here, copy that and then put another one right here. We want our book title uh, as well as an author. We want to put this on the top line here, make the font smaller, maybe a size 12. So there's that book author right there. Maybe in this section right here, we can maybe put a place where they can check if it's a paperback or an ebook or an audiobook. 
So in order to do that, let's go ahead and create our box. So we need a we need a box, maybe this box right here. I'm just going to make it really small. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And we just need three of them. So we have that section, book, title, author, paperback, ebook, audiobook. The next section is maybe when they started the book, when they finished the book, uh, the rating of the book, and maybe a section where they can choose how easy of a read or how hard of a read it was. <laughs> So I'm going to go back up here, grab these stars, just copy, and I'll paste it in here. So it's starting to come together. Now we need a section for their review. So let's go ahead and create a text box here. And that's looking a lot better. So now that's this is what it's starting to look like right here. Now we want a couple sections here maybe of like why they read it, what they liked, what they didn't like, uh, what they learned from the book, and then recommendations. So we need maybe another box here. I'm thinking maybe create three separate boxes, one, two, three here. Okay, now that we have these three boxes, I kind of want to make it a lighter gray. So there we go. And then we need more lines. So let's go ahead and grab maybe four of these lines there. Just put it right here. Kind of feeling like I want to put another box here just for a header. Just kind of put it right here. And just kind of do this. Use this text right here. Put it right here in the middle. And then this one's going to be why I read it. I realize I probably need more space because I need a recommendation area as well as what I learned from the book. So I'm going to go ahead and try to scrunch everything up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put a section here of what I learned from this. And then grab some lines, maybe just three. We can have a final section here. We'll go ahead and grab this because I kind of want this just right here. And I want it to say recommendations. Go ahead and grab this box. And there we go. We have our page set up here. Now we can see the finished page. And then all we have to do now is create another page. So if we duplicate the page, all we have to do is number this two and then flip it. So this part is going to go over here. And then this two is going to go over here. And we just keep doing this until we get to page 100. And when all is said and done, it should look something like this. We have this title right here, book review logbook. This book review logbook belongs to, and as you can see, we have our book list here, up to 20. And then I've gone ahead and gone all the way to page 100. And then we have our book reviews where we start and then book review number one book review number two, number three, all the way to page 100. Now as a bonus for making it this far into the video, I'm going to go ahead and give you this list. It's a list of 149 keywords that you can use to create your very own book review logbook. This, along with the interiors, are going to be available on my Gumroad shop right here. Link down in the description below. All you have to do is click here and go ahead and download it. You can even put zero if you want and get it for free. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it'll help you on your KDP journey. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and let me know what kind of video you want to see me do next. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.